If you guys are subscribed to my channel, and especially if you guys know a little bit about me, you would know that Smash Bros. Ultimate is my all-time favorite game. So this game, um, if I would want to introduce to people around, it's like the most perfect game there is. And if you own a Switch, if you don't have Smash Bros, like honestly, I don't know what you're thinking. But to speak of what has affected me with Super Smash Bros, like if you want to say in a negative way, but I won't say negative, but um, it's much like I'm just so like addicted to Smash Bros. And I forgot there's three games I totally forgot because of Smash Bros. And two of them are GameStop exclusive. Wait, let me show you guys. So first we have the, uh, okay, what is it called? Katamari Di Demessi Reroll. And we got the um, Bandy and the Ink Machine. Last but not least, we got uh, Sega Genesis. So those are the three games I did not pick up because of Smash Bros. All right, because I'm just so obsessed with the game. Well, as you can tell, it's my favorite game, so I totally forgot about those games because um, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure about about Bandy, but those three games released alongside uh, Smash Bros. Maybe Sega Genesis a little bit earlier, but I just didn't pick up. And if you guys didn't know, on eBay, uh, Katamari for uh, GameStop exclusive, it's actually like 70 bucks. So when I realized, like, I'm not going to spend so much money just for a game, so I decided to wait for a while. And today, um, Frank, friendly um, in my neighborhood around, um, like, some people tell me that they have, like, those games restocked in one of my uh, local area GameStop, so I just went there and got it. Uh, it was a really idealism price. So yes, today, um, you know, in April, there's not a lot of new games coming up. So instead, I might just not do an unboxing about the games I did not got, and those are really good games. So um, I guess without any um, further ado, let's let's start unboxing Smash Bros. Well, I'm only kidding because, um, yeah, Smash Bros, even now, I think this is uh, the best case um, among all the Nintendo Switch games because it has the best design. And I'm not going to lie to you guys, I'm still really obsessed with all the design and the characters. So, yes, we're not going to be unboxing Smash Bros, but um, we're unboxing the game that I forgot because of Smash Bros. So let's get started. I guess, uh, how about let's start with uh, the Katamari Damacy reroll. So this is a GameStop exclusive. I'm sure a lot of you guys out there already brought it. I'm just doing like a quick cap of the games I've missed. So, yep. So if you guys are looking for this game, if it does exist at your GameStop, um, like any location, make sure if, to get it right away because I'm not sure if this is going to be like, you know, disappeared once again and you're going to spend like more than 100 bucks on eBay. Or if you guys wouldn't really mind, like uh, if you are a collector that doesn't really mind about the religion, you probably would end up getting a Japanese version because it's uh, relevantly cheaper. So, yep, here we have the game and... Really not a big fan of those type, but um, saw some reviews, turns out not bad. And once again, there's nothing in the case, and here we have the game. Honestly, I got quite used to nothing in the case, because, uh, you know, if you guys bought those Nicholas games, they come with, like, really cool stuff, so I don't feel surprised, but I will if there's actually items inside the game. So let's start with the another one. It's uh, Bandy and the Ink Machine. So right here we have the only at GameStop. Um, this isn't so rare compared to other uh, Damacy Reroll. And um, to be honest, I mean, I'm being fair. I guess I was so lucky to get one of the copy um, in a regular price about the, uh, the Reroll. So, yeah. And usually if you guys follow my channel for a while, my... Uh, the timeline of my video based on new games. So once again, um, I didn't do the unboxing on time. So uh, please like and share the video because I'm pretty sure this video might seem boring for some people who already got the game. Uh, if you want to blame, just go blame Smash Brothers because it's, it's such a great game. So well, let's get back to the game of Fear the Machine. So this is a horror game, I suppose, but why it's rated T? 
Uh, maybe it's because a lot of people like it. Once again, there's nothing in the case. I'll just carry you guys the game over here. And yep. And last but not least, we got the Sega Genesis Classics, over 50 classic games. So I did not own a Sega Genesis. Honestly, I never even heard of it if if I did not watch, like, um, I don't see watch any video, but when I really just joined the game community, like when I was older, because when I was young, I never heard about the Sega Genesis. So, um, yep, I believe this is a great game for me to experience some uh, classic retro games, uh, the games I have, haven't played. Yeah, and I like playing out different games. So, yep, that's why I got the game. And this game come alongside with Smash Bros as well, or maybe it's like one or two days earlier. I'm sorry, I'm not certain about the date, but that's just um, the game I picked up. Sega Genesis Classic. Yep, and we have over 50 games, and there's really nothing here. We just got the game case. All right, we got the Sega support number. So, yep, I guess uh, this is it with the um, all four amazing... Oh, sorry about Smash Bros., but all three amazing games that I just uh, picked up. All right, guys, so that's it for today's late unboxing video. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys do, make sure to like and share and um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more uh, new game unboxing in the future. And I promise to you guys, if there's not really a big problem, well, I guess um, Smash Brothers is a special case. But I promise to you guys, if there's uh, no prop like without any issues, I would be um, getting like good games on the time to bring you guys the video first. So this is really like a special case because um, I just uh, totally forgot. And you know, I spent quite a amount of money on Smash, so I don't really have the funds to afford those games at that time. But right now I managed to get the really cool games and yeah, got three more games added to my collection. So yes, guys, I guess this is it for today and you know, next week, there's going to be like uh, three more new Amiibos coming. So if you guys want to check out that, make sure to subscribe to the channel because you guys don't want to miss it. So yes, I guess this is it for today's video. And I'll see you guys in the next unboxing video. Take care.